Hello, what is up everybody? It's the Silver Spartan back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about cash versus gold versus silver. So in this situation, basically what I'm going to be talking about is if for some reason, let's say somebody approached you and said you could either have $1,300, one ounce of gold, or like $1,300-ish worth of silver, whether it be junk silver, just generic bars, or American Silver Eagles. Um, and that's basically going to be the topic of this video. And so, obviously, somebody in the comments, as always, whenever I make a video like this, is going to be like, well, the current spot price for gold is $7 over. It, it's The basic point of this video isn't for this exact current time, if you can turn around and sell it right away. For this video, let's say you were given this gift, but you weren't allowed to sell it for, let's say, one year. Or you won some prize and you go, you're going to receive it in one year. And right now you have to choose in one year. Would you rather receive $1,300, one ounce of gold, or whatever amount of silver that would be at a given time? So right here in the back, I've got a $100 face value bag of Washington quarters. So that's probably, I mean, if we're talking, let's say twelve fifty to $13 per dollar face is pretty fair, I guess. So this is between $1,250 to $1,300. So I think it's, the reason I put it in is because it's fairly similar. So if this is 1300 gold, like 1350 let's say, and this twelve fifty thirteen hundred. So they're all kind of in the same realm if we look at these three things. Yes, there are some slight differences, but for the most part, we can say you either get $1,300 bills, or one ounce of gold and one of the or one bag of junk silver. So basically, I feel like the last option that I would take would be the thirteen hundred dollars. Not if the situation was today. Um, I think most likely if the situation was like today and they made the amount of silver exactly equal to one ounce of gold at current spot price, and they made the exact amount of money they were gonna give equal to the one ounce of gold spot price. I probably just take cash because. Um, it's you need it for everyday life. It's easy and I can use this to then go and buy some of these things if I really wanted to But if I had to look at a longer outlook and I wasn't allowed to receive these for one year I would take this out of the equation Reasoning behind it And just look at recent events and stuff that's been going on um, the dollar has becoming has become worth less and less over time um, and I feel like there's more risk involved and holding that cash over the long term. In my own personal opinion, obviously, um, if you're going to make investment choices, you have to do your own research, contact your own financial advisor. Um, this is just for information on what I'm doing um, and what I would do in these situations. So these would probably be the first two options I would consider in a one-year term because I personally believe gold and silver will go up in the relative um, one-year to five-year term and hopefully continually after that. Um, and then out of these two, I think I'd then eliminate gold. I think I'd be left with, let's say it was the fair amount, and let's just say it was like $100 face value, maybe 105 just whatever amount would make it equal, or an equal amount in silver bars or American silver eagles. And the reason why is because when I think about this, the first step I go through is this possibly in one year could be worth a couple percent less than it is now due to um, inflation. So this could get me less than what it could get me right now in one year, most likely. Meanwhile, these gold and silver normally keep up with inflation, um, so I feel safer having my money in that than just sitting around in cash. And then once I look at gold versus silver, I look at the ratio, and the ratio is currently in like the high 70s, I believe, um, right around in that area. Maybe it's touching 80, I'm not sure. But that's crazy. The ratio should not be nearly that high in my opinion. So therefore I see two possible outcomes. Either one, silver goes up a lot in price to kind of equal out with gold and find a better ratio, or gold could come down in price until it reaches the ratio where it's even with silver at like, let's say the 50-ish, um, 50 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold mark, which has kind of been a standard um, in more modern times. And in either of those situations, we're seeing silver either go up or stay even. And in these situations, we're either seeing gold go down or stay even. 
in strictly a ratio standpoint. Obviously, they could both go up in price, but when looking at that, I then leave myself a silver. Um, so it's just a little video showing off a uh, little quick idea that I'm posing to the community. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what would you do if you couldn't receive this for one year. Would you rather take an equal amount? of gold at current price, equal amount of silver at current price, or equal amount of cash in current price um, that you couldn't receive until one year from now. Um, so yeah, so make sure to leave that in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.